Hi guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to take you on this journey with me. Now, what I'm going to do today, so I'm basically, I'm going to start restoring the Elise. When I say restoring, there's not actually not that much that needs doing to it, but just there's a few cosmetic enhancements that do need doing. The headlights definitely need doing. You know the way plastic headlights start clouding and going yellow and all that when you get to a certain age. Obviously it's happened on this. However, it being a Lotus, it's not that simple. One does not sink. So, ideally I could do it taking the front wheels off, but unfortunately I don't have the tool to do it yet. So what I'm going to try and do is jack the car up, turn the wheel and try and get access to the panel here. That allows me to undo the bolts, take the lights off, and also I'm going to change the bulbs. I'm going to swap them out for something a little bit more aesthetic as you can see. I've still got the old halogen units in, which aren't the prettiest and I think they do let the car down a little bit. So, uh, never done this type of thing before, so it's a little bit, um, not daunting, but just tinkering with your own car. It's a simple job, obviously, but it being the Lotus, there's some special tools that required, namely a low profile jack. There's a few ninja tricks you need to do with a low profile jack, especially with an Elise which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. So uh, let's crack on. I'm excited to just take you on this journey with me. I've never done anything like this before, like I say, so it's a, it's a new element for the channel, if you like, but it's, it's also exciting. So let's go. So what I found out was with the low profile jacks, because literally the underneath of the Elise is literally, it's flat for aerodynamic purposes. There's a few things you need to do before you can just simply put the jack under and jack the car up. So. Firstly, a little from doing a bit of research online was little off cuts to some soft furnishings just to cover up your axle stands. And the same again with the trolley jack. To place that on there, it's going to protect the car nicely. We like that. Also, um, because the car is relatively, because the car is light, what's going to happen is I'm hoping, oh God, I really hope this happens. If not, it's going to be a pain in the backside is that when I jack the car up, that both sides are going to come up at the same time. We shall see. I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see this, but I'm trying to get my phone in there for the light. So basically, there's one, two, three screws at the bottom, and at the top, there's two eight millimeter bolts, which I've sort of previously just undone now. So I'm tired to take the arch line and off and see what lies beneath. The beauty of this is because it's fiberglass, guys, no rust. <laughs> that last one was an absolute nightmare to get Yes! Right. So there's three 8mm bolts and four screws. Easy enough. Right then. Now we've got access to get the headlight clustered off. You'll see the headlight coming off, hopefully. Moments of truth. <laughs> yes, baby! So that's what it looks like underneath. So I'm gonna replace the bad boys in a bit. So I think that is the side light bulb that I'm gonna be replacing. And this headlight is units behind here, just behind that clamp there. Standard set, standard headlight setup, but uh, I mean how hard, how hard could it be? Let's be honest. Sit rep. So, this side proving a little bit more troublesome. There's a mixture of bolts and screws that hold the headlight in place, essentially. It's nearly off, look at that. But, I've had to use the stubby flathead, the eight mil, the 10 mil, even the 11 mil, wherever that, that's gone, I don't even know. The last bolt, obviously, is always the case, is proving a little bit troublesome, so, next job, get this one off. Yeah, this sounds a little bit different to you, huh? That's still going. So it's the 13 mil socket. So this should be coming out. Last bump, can you believe it? The reality of tinkering with your own car in the winter. Finally, right then, get these bad boys cleaned up. Just stay to them. God, it's really let the car down. You know, an aesthetic point of view. It's gonna make such a difference. Right, let's crack on. So here's the products I'm using. It's a T-cut, just a simple kit, headlight restoration kit. 
uh, compound to clean the light itself. I've already applied the layer, letting that soak in, and then you seal it. So, next time you see these, should be all done. So, sit rep. The uh, driver's side has come up pretty decent. It's nearly as good as new. I'm very happy. After the uh, left hand side, here for, here for those in the UK, obviously. Um, passenger side not quite as good I've tried to give it a couple of goes and on the inside it's a definite improvement to what it was but yeah still not as good it got it about that but still it's better than it was it's still an improvement nonetheless <sighs> gotta get rid of these nasty halogen bulbs guys <sighs> they just just let it down put it back in so anyway I'm gonna place the side lights with those and and then the headlights with these ones. I hope they're the right bulb because it has got a picture below this at least on the front, so it didn't work. Imagine that. <laughs> just a little bracket of undone at the back here. So it's just released the bulb. But these bulbs that I've got the replacements are significantly bigger than the, um, the ones that are in there. Honestly, it wasn't worth doing what it did. Good point is, I got the headlights cleaned, even though they don't look like it. Uh, and I changed the side lights. But the headlights, nah. The main bulbs, nah. So, I have the H1s when I need um, a H1 bulb. The ones I bought are H7s. Oh! oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, at least they're not to take it apart and put back together, which, by the way, is a massive pain in the backside. So fiddly, you know, them types of jobs where you need, like, ten hands and combined spaces. Yeah, just to get some outside enough. So, well, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do with that, really, except uh, maybe try it again in the near future, or maybe just get them prepared to the Zenons. We'll see. But the takeaway point is, at least have a go. It didn't work out, but it was fun anyway. I did enjoy it. Right, right until the next video. Take care, guys. See you soon.